Hi guys, welcome to Dietrich Tutorial. Today we're going to talk about how to turn anime into realistic photos for free AI tools. Anime to realistic AI tools. It's a step-by-step -step guide to follow easily, so don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Let's dive right in. Now the platform that we will be utilizing in today's video is called CR.AI. This platform is an AI generator that uses stable diffusion and as you can see right now on our screen a lot of people have been using it to generate different types of images and they also have a lot of different models that you could explore and use for generating your image now what we're going to be trying in today's video is converting your traditional anime style or your traditional anime that you like into a realistic photo for example Goku, Saitama, Zoro, any anime that you want through this method that we will be showing you for today's video so what we're going to do is we're going to go to our home page over here by the way all you need to do is click on login on the top right to be able to create an account creating an account is absolutely for free so you don't need to worry about that now what you're going to do is you're going to have to select generate over here on the top right and you will be redirected to this page over here now in this page this is your general image generator but what we want to access is this image image over here under advanced so simply select advanced option and you will be able to see image to image image to image will basically use an image that you provide as a basis for the AI. So if I were to upload a landscape and give some prop, it will use the landscape photo that we have provided as the basis of the style, basically the basis of the photo. It will put it as close as possible or try to replicate it but with the different prop that you have entered. But of course, it will also depend on your settings, your parameters, anything that will happen over here on the right side. So what you're going to do first is upload your anime that you would like to edit. So I have one over here, we have Saitama. Now the good thing about CR, this is unrelated to what we're going to do to our prompt over here. But in CR, you will be suggested some prompts if you want. You can click on this and it will suggest you some prompts. But what we're going to do is we're going to simply put a very simple prop. We're not going to put something super complicated. We're actually just going to go with a very simple prop, which is describing the image. So give it the best explanation that you have. Make it simple. So Saitama is a bald person wearing a yellow tracksuit with red gloves. So simply say that. A bald man wearing yellow suit and red gloves with cape there we go that's the most or this is all you need to do simply describe the image that you want to produce you don't need to add anything super complicated you don't need to add the terms realistic all of those stuff this is all you need to do just simply describe the anime or the photo that you chose then you're going to look over here on the right side there is something called model settings. Model settings are basically models that the AI will use as a basis. Let's say I chose a model that is cartoonish. Now whatever it will produce when we ask it to produce an image, it will look cartoonish because of course the model is cartoonish. Now the model right now is rev animated. This is the default. You could choose other models as you can see here. Rive Animated is more on a very wide range of option, but there's other options as well like Realistic over here and Level 4. So simply look for a model that is realistic. So for example, this one over here, it seems to have a realistic style. Then you could add Laura as well. Laura is very similar. As you can see, it will just give you some options over here that you want to add or you could add so since our character is male so i don't think we could get any option from any of this parts over here since all of them are girls so we're not going to use that one maybe later on if we have a photo of a girl then we have the the noisy strength over here 
then you have your basic basic settings like image quantity how much image will be generated you could put in three or four you have your image mode high quality or ultra high the size image right now this is the size image it will follow your image that you have then you also have your advanced configuration you could add negative prompts to your output over here you have BAE which can change the color representation the sampling method sampling method over here how many times to improve the generated images ideally the higher the values the longer and very low values can produce bad results you also have CFG scale seed and clip skip over here so what you're simply going to do is you're going to click on send and as you can see here we're simply going to wait for our image to be produced so it might take a while because a lot of people are indeed using CR so we're simply going to give it a few minutes or maybe a few seconds but as you can see uh, it's already done for me it might be different for you guys so Keep your expectation low and there we go we have our output over here it's not hyper realistic it's a bit funky so what you're going to do is you're going to try again because that's how it really works you're going to have to try and maybe change up the different options that you have here maybe add some character repair you can also check out studio which you could choose over here there's also other options that you could have here that you could maybe check out and see if something could fix it so maybe over here on the studio we could check out if there is a realism option over here so let us check out if there is some realistic option i don't think there's a realistic option for us to use maybe cinematic we could have that and aside from that we could click on generate again let's look for something that we could see maybe restore faces and in advanced configuration there isn't really anything that we could add so unfortunately i accidentally uh, deleted it so let's do it again we upload it and put it the prompt let's try again one more time before we move on to another example a bald man wearing a yellow suit with rod gloves and cape then simply click on enter and it will ask to generate again this is our previous one it's not the best but you can see the aspect or the different uh things that could make it realistic like the eyes and stuff since it is using the our image as the basis uh it's going to try to keep it as close as possible and there we go this is a better generation as you can see now it looks more realistic it's not that anime like anymore but it's still keeping the style that we ask it to or it's still keeping the style of our image so let's add another one this time let's go check this one out it's from a ghibli movie and do the same thing simply describe the image that you are seeing so two girls with brown and black hair wearing red and white clothing then simply generate it's not super hard as you can see you're simply going to describe the photo that you saw since our model are realistic and our setting is set to have a realistic output it will try to produce a realistic uh, image of the image that we provide so let's see if we will be able to get good results with our generation this time and it's almost done now keep in mind it will not always be perfect it will have some malfunction or some bad generations every now and then so you're going to have to try and try till you get an image that you like so let's view this one it's a bit there we go we have a semi-realistic photo right now we also have the next one over here it's pretty good and we can see the style or the photo has been kept and you could see that it turned into a realistic photo let's actually try adding a laura maybe cute girl then generate again i'm going to copy our prompt or let's go back to our image to image over here upload it again then let's add our laura let's simply say 
two girls with brown and black hair wearing red and white clothing and simply generate and let's see the output this time with Alora that we have over here and there we go we now have our output over here let's preview it same thing with what we did with the other one it's a bit messy with the face this time let's see the other one it's still a bit messy and the last one still a bit messy so uh, there we go it didn't do or did it perform well with our second generation but the first one that we have is really nice so that's basically it guys that is how you will be able to convert your anime images into something realistic by simply using the image to image and very simple prop so that's basically it if you enjoyed this video consider leaving a like and subscribe thanks for watching